Betty meant an awful lot to me, but nothing has influenced my life more than the love of my country. I never had too much use for other people, even when I was young. All the other children seemed so frivolous, and I never really minded being alone. We barely lived above the level of poverty, but my parents still provided for me well enough. My father was a janitor, and my mother was a maid, each one helping to maintain the greatness of our country in their own small ways. And they certainly taught me to appreciate the greatness of a country where the accidents of birth can be overcome by diligence and hard work. One day, as my father was leaving work, he heard a pathetic whimpering sound. He looked and saw a scared little puppy cowering under the car. It was Betty. He had planned to take her to the animal shelter, but was overcome by the instant bond between the dog and his son. I've never cared about any living thing as much as I did about Betty. One day, we were playing, and Betty ran out into the street ahead of me. I don't think she ever saw the car. Not that it mattered. <laughs> Betty was killed. Instantly. The driver, who was speeding to file a last-minute tax return, stopped and said, Say, kid, but I can't be late to cheat Uncle Sam. And he drove away. In that moment, the purpose of my life became crystal clear. But now, being here with you, I feel something new. Perhaps it's something I ate.